In the film industry, there are stories that prompt us to reflect on the price of fame and the price of creativity. One of these stories is linked to French cinema stars, Sophie Marceau and Gérard Depardieu. In 1985, at the age of 18, Sophie Marceau stars alongside Gérard Depardieu in Police, but on set, the actor makes life hell for the young actress. Director Maurice Pialat brings Sophie Marceau and Gérard Depardieu together to film Police in 1985. The young actress then shares the screen with Gérard Depardieu, an actor already well-established in French cinema. However, the actress denounces the filming conditions in which some scenes were shot. These accusations prompted reactions not only from the actor himself, but also from the director, who did not hesitate to call young Sophie stupid live on television. On the occasion of the release of the book On a Fair Trace Francaise by Albin Michel, the two authors, Raphael Bach and Samuel Blumenfeld, film critics and both journalists for Lou Mont magazine, were present on the set of Siavu on Thursday, April 4, 2024. Sophie Marceau got slapped by Gérard Depardieu. They revisited the filming of this movie, which was very difficult for the young actress. Sophie Marceau broke the silence at the time. It was something that was not done. At 18, she got slapped on set. She really did, repeatedly. She also got slapped by Gérard Depardieu because they had very hot scenes together, says Samuel Blumenfeld. She was therefore mistreated especially since she was an 18-year-old girl. Several times, Sophie Marceau denounced Gérard Depardieu's abject behavior on set. Even at the time, she condemned his actions. The silence surrounding these acts. The silence surrounding Gérard Depardieu. A kind of protection. On film sets, not only is it tolerated that he touches the buttocks of makeup artists, dressers, and extras, but it is also accepted that he is dead drunk that he does not know his lines or that he needs an earpiece, said Raphael Back. It's shocking, but people laugh when he slaps butts. He becomes the king's jester. The whole court laughs, and no one dares to tell him to stop. Through the years and through the whirlwind of cinematic events, the story of Sophie Marceau and Gérard Depardieu remains a powerful reminder of the importance not only of creating art but also of respecting and protecting those who create it. We hope that such stories will help shed light on the industry's issues and contribute to creating safe and supportive conditions for all creative souls.